Welcome back to Airgun Academy, the series that helps you identify the right airgun for your shooting needs. In this episode, we'll be covering a topic that is vital for everything airgun related, safety. We have a lot of ground to cover, so come on. Let's take a look at some of the most fundamental rules on staying safe. Air guns can be very dangerous if they're not handled correctly. I'll be laying out six basic safety rules that are easy to remember and should be practiced every time you pick up an air gun. Never point the muzzle of your gun at anything you don't intend to shoot. Rule number one is the most important rule of all and it applies to firearms as well as air guns. Whether it's a paper bullseye, soda cans, pests, or game that you're hunting, be sure that you only point the muzzle of your gun at your target. Saying, always point your gun in a safe direction, isn't quite specific enough. What does that mean exactly? Well, we found that some people don't always understand or appreciate what a safe direction is. For the sake of simplicity, let's use the inverse and say that an unsafe direction is anywhere you don't want your shot to go. Now if a person walks into your line of fire, you must point the gun in another direction immediately. With long guns, this is hard enough, but with handguns, it's even worse. You're more prone to inadvertently point a handgun in an unsafe direction because their short barrels allow them to be pointed anywhere very quickly. So, always pay attention to where your barrel is pointed and be aware of anyone in the vicinity. This holds true when your gun is loaded or when you think that it can't fire or is unloaded. You may think that a gun won't fire unless the trigger is intentionally pulled, but this is not always the case. All guns have the potential to unexpectedly fire all on their own. This can happen for a number of reasons that we won't get into just yet. Just know that guns can fire when you don't mean for them to, and when you believe they may not even be loaded. So, never point the muzzle of your gun at anything you don't intend to shoot. This will keep you safe no matter whether the gun is loaded or unloaded. Which brings us to our next safety rule. Safety rule number two is to keep your finger off of the trigger until you are ready to fire your gun. Some people keep their fingers on their triggers all the time. If you're one of those shooters, then get in the habit of taking your finger off of the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Modern air guns are specially designed so that the shooter is forced to use both hands to cock the gun. This design makes it impossible to keep a finger on the trigger while you're cocking. Most modern air guns have safeties that engage automatically as the gun is cocked, but don't rely on this. The safest measure is to not put your finger near the trigger until you're ready to take your shot. Rule number three is, treat every gun as though it's loaded. This rule is similar to our first rule, which is never point your gun at anything you don't intend to shoot. But we have rule number three for other considerations as well. One of those considerations is related to how some air guns operate. For example, guns that feed their BBs by gravity can actually be loaded and yet not fire a BB for several shots. This happens when the BB gets jammed in the BB feeding mechanism. The danger is that the BB can be jarred loose the next time the gun is cocked and shoot the BB. The last thing you want is a BB gun firing when you're cocking it. Treating all guns as though they are loaded keeps us from having accidents when things like this happen. Now, those three rules will keep you safe but there are some additional things to think about when shooting any gun. Always be aware of your backstop and what's behind it. The backstop is what prevents the pellet or BB from traveling farther once it hits your target. The safest backstop is dirt, but even then you can get into trouble if the ground is too hard. Many shooters think that a backstop made out of wood is safe for an air gun, but it's not. A powerful air gun will shoot through several inches of wood with just a few shots. It takes a steel plate to stop pellets effectively. If you're shooting a BB gun, you need a backstop that will prevent the BBs from rebounding. 
The subject of a proper backstop? It's so large, we're going to need to devote a whole episode to it. Safe backstops will be coming up in the near future. For now, the main thing to remember is wood is not a good backstop for pellets or BB guns. The next safety rule is always be aware of how far your gun can shoot. For example, if you're shooting at soda cans and you miss the target, how much farther will your pellet travel? What's in the trajectory path of your pellet? Is your shot lined up with the house next door? The last safety rule for this episode is know how much damage your air gun can cause. Some shooters think they can discourage pets from certain behavior by shooting them with a BB gun. But with the power of today's BB guns, you can easily kill or maim a small animal with just one shot. In short, always know what your gun is capable of doing. In this episode, we talked about some of the most fundamental safety rules for air guns. And these also apply to firearms as well. Let's recap what we just learned. Point your gun in the direction you intend to shoot. Always keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to take your shot. Treat every gun as though it's loaded. Be aware of your backstop and what's behind it. Be aware of how far your gun can shoot. Know how much damage your air gun can cause. Keep on watching for episodes that cover a variety of air gun related topics. And remember, always practice safety when shooting your air gun. Thanks for watching Air Gun Academy. Stay tuned for another great lesson from Pyramid Air.